Hello everyone, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today we're going to be using the Eastern Palace Suite to create this card. So if you purchase the Eastern Palace Premier Bundle, um, you'll have what you need in your kit to make this card with the exception of a 2 inch circle punch or a 2 inch circle framelit, something that can crop a 2 inch circle out. If you purchase the Eastern Palace Premier Bundle from me, I will gift you with a tutorial to create 25 projects. All the projects use just the supplies that are in the bundle. So you don't need to have a lot of extra supplies. You will need adhesive, scissors, big shot machine, of course, and possibly, you know, some circle punches or these circle framelits. And that's all you're going to need extra. So um, for everyone who purchases that from me in May, I will gift you with that tutorial. The bundle has the Eastern Beauty stamp set along with the... Eastern Medallions Thinlets dies. And I do have all the dies here on this uh, magnetic sheet. And I like to keep my dies on a magnetic sheet when I'm using them, not necessarily when I store them, because I do store my dies in the sleeves that they come in. Um, and I've just got a little box and I just keep them all in there. I do, however, write the number of dies that are in the set on this little corner piece of cardstock that I have inside there so I know at a glance how many pieces belong in each set. There's 14 in this set. So it would be pretty easy to lose one. I have lost dies in the past, so I know how that can happen. So I keep them on a magnetic sheet while I'm working with them so that as I run the, run the die through the big shot, I just put it back on the sheet and it stays uh, safe and I won't, I won't lose any. Um, I do have a video showing you what um, all these different dies will create and I'm gonna link that right up here. Um, in the corner for you so you can check that out to see what each die does. So anyways, let's get into making the card. Like I said, this is the card we're going to make here. It also uses the Eastern Palace Specialty Designer Series paper. Here are the patterns of paper that come in the Eastern Palace Specialty Designer Series paper package. It is included with the bundles and you get 12 12 by 12 sheets and these are your patterns. You've got this great polka dot pattern, Dapper Denim and Tranquil Tide, the Lemon Lime Twist kind of star pattern, this striped Fresh Fig pattern, we've got this Tranquil Tide pattern here, the Dapper Denim Stars, we've got the Gold Foil Accents, kind of looks like Peacock Feathers or something, and then we've got the Dapper Denim with the Gold Foil Accents. These papers are only, they're not double-sided, they're white on one side and because you get this uh, beautiful foil pattern. They're one-sided. And the other side of these, we've got some Lemon Lime Twist and Dapper Denim here. We've got some Tranquil Tide and some Fresh Fig here. Dapper Denim pattern here. Dapper Denim and Tranquil Tide. And then all three colors, Dapper Denim, Tranquil Tide, and the Fresh Fig on the back side of that. So that is the Designer Series Papers. So for our card, we're going to be using these two patterns here. And here they are, and I cut them both. They're both five and a quarter inches long. This one is one and a half, this one is two and a half. And so basically all you're gonna do is you're just gonna glue them to the front of your card, but I do have a little tip for you. So um, I always try to show you some helpful tips if I have them. I like to use a scotch tape so that I can butt these up together. So I can just butt them together right at the seam. And then I just put a piece of tape on that end. Uh, put this together on this end and put a piece of tape on that end and that way it's just ready to mount onto my card. So I've got my card base. This is one of our new in colors that will be available um, either with the purchase of the Eastern Palace bundle or um, if you don't want to purchase the bundle you can wait until June 1st when the catalog goes live and you can order it then. So we're just going to glue these two pieces together. I've got some snail adhesive here. Just add a little bit around the edge of this and we'll just line that up so it's equal distance all the way around. And there we go. And now we just need to make our detailed image here. So I've got some very vanilla cardstock. This piece measures three by three. And I've got three colors of ink that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the Lemon Lime Twist, which will come in your bundle. The Fresh Fig also comes in your bundle. And then we get Tranquil Tide. So these three will all come in the Premier Bundle. Uh, we're going to be using this image from the stamp set here, the Let's Be Friends Forever image, and then this little tiny kind of flowery flourish image up here in the corner. So we're going to start out by uh, stamping our circle image with 
the lemon lime twist easy enough and then I've got my greeting that I'm going to be stamping in the fresh fig and I'm just going to kind of try to eyeball this I'm having it a little bit more towards the top of the circle rather than the bottom just because I want to add my little flourish at the bottom and then my little tiny flourish we'll just bring that in and we'll just stamp that down here at the bottom I'm going to bring in my two inch circle punch here like I said, you could use a punch or some framelits, whatever you happen to have. Punch that out and that's ready to be mounted onto the card. Our next thing is going to be to crop this cool medallion out of um, this uh, fresh fig striped paper that comes in the kit. Clean up my mess so I don't get ink all over everything. I know that because I'm pretty messy when it comes to leaving ink pads out. Okay, I'll get our big shot in here. All right, here's the big shot machine. I've got my platforms underneath this precision base plate. I've got my three inch piece of designer series paper, my cutting pad. And then the die we're gonna use is this image right here. Just place that on top of the precision base plate, add the cutting pad, and then we'll just run that through. bring in my foam pad and my brush and some of these images you do need to be a little bit careful sometimes I get really rough and I'm just rolling 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 but some of these images are a little bit delicate so you do need to be a little bit careful with them so roll that get that off there bring in a piercing tool and you can just poke those other little guys right out sometimes they just get hung up in there they're not uncut they are cut they just for some reason sometimes don't want to come out okay so you can see what's happened here this design actually it doesn't cut all the way through it's designed not to cut all the way through it's designed to be hooked between all these petals of this medallion so you could just put this as it is on your project but i want just the medallion so i'm just going to bring my scissors in here and you can see i'm just behind the petals and i'm just going to snip so I'm just keeping my blade behind the two petals as I'm going around here and I'm just snipping off that little connector piece. Okay, this is what we want. The rest of this stuff we can get rid of. All right, we need some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm just gonna put one right there in the middle. Peel that off. But before I actually stick my uh, circle on there, I'm just going to kind of go around and bend these up just a little bit. There is a slight score mark all the way around the inside of this medallion. And so I'm just kind of using that to press those up. And then I can just drop my little circle right in the center. That looks pretty good. So I've got those raised around there. Bring in your card, and then all we have to do is just add some adhesive to the back of this little designer series paper piece. And then you're just going to kind of straddle that line where the paper um, joins and just press that on. Now, if you want to step up your card just a little bit, you can add a strip of our 8th inch gold ribbon just right over that seam. It just covers it right up. And so it does just give it a little bit of shine, a little bit of bling, a little bit of fun. You can also, if you happen to have the Dapper Denim ink pad, which uh, does coordinate with the bundle, you actually get Dapper Denim cardstock in the bundle. So if you have a Dapper Denim uh, ink pad, you could use Dapper Denim as well as the Fresh Fig for your uh, greeting. So uh, both ways, card is very, very simple. You could crank a bunch of these out in no time. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate seeing that. It lets me know that what I'm doing you are liking. Also, I do have a subscribe button right here. It says subscribe. So if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and then click the little notification bell right here after you do that, you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So, and I do have a few more um, projects with this bundle as well as the uh, video on the dies. So check those out and thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.